Hello guys, welcome back to Life with Polly. I hope that you are all doing good. Today is April 4th, and if you're not familiar with my channel, I live in my 2007 Saturn Ion with my puppy Annabelle here, as you can see. She is playing with one of her ducky toys, and she is very happy today. She's always a happy puppy. Um, I just wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update, and um, I'm still in the process of saving money for a SUV or a van. I'm trying not to go anywhere hardly or spend anything. I'm in the car right now, but I have the door open for some air. Um, if you don't know, I live in Kuksaki, New York, which is about 10 minutes from Catskill, New York, Catskill Mountains, and it did snow a little bit last night. Um, but it's not too bad out today. As you can see here, I got the door open and it's a little bit sunny, but it's cool. Um, I got the door open for some fresh air. I just went to the store and I got the puppy some treats. And this is the back of my car. This is how I got the back of my car set up. There's like a little thing there I got to cover the back window. And I have my window coverings, as you can see there. And I have my bed, which my puppy is on right now, and I'm on. As you can see, my feet go underneath. Um, they pretty much go to the trunk, but I got enough room to fit me and the puppy, and we cuddle that night. She loves, she's a cuddle bug, so she loves to cuddle. And she has her food and her water right there, as you could see. Um, I have a little nice setup with her food and her water, and there's my lunch right there. I bought some Lunchables, and I got some coffee in this, um, in this little container here. I usually put coffee, I brew a five cups of coffee in a little pot, and then I put it in the thermos, which is right here. Let's see if I can get it. This is the thermos that I put it in. Um, a stainless steel bottle I put it in, and then I bring it into the car to drink it, of course, if it's cold. Um, today's a little bit cool out, but it's not that bad, so I got the door open for some air. But I'm still in the process of saving for an van or an SUV. I have a little over 3000 saved so far. Um, I'm probably going to be getting a SUV or a van for around the 5,000 mark. So it's going to take another couple months to save that money. Um, and then I will show you the build out of that, um, and how I set it up. And over there is my mom. As you can see, I don't know if you can see right there is my mother. She is in an urn. Um, I lost my mom in February of 2022. And um, I stayed in our apartment. We did have an apartment. And I stayed in that apartment for over a year after she passed away. And then I just decided to do the van life, car life, van life, whatever you want to call it, um, after my mom died. Uh, because it was too hard to stay in the apartment after losing her in the apartment and stuff. And plus, I wanted to be closer to my daughters. My daughter lives in Kuksaki, New York. And I'm actually parked outside of her house right now. And I do use her power. As you can see there, there is a lead cord that I run to a shed that she has on her property. She rents a house in Kuksaki, New York. And I stay on the side of the shed in my car at night. And then during the day, of course, I get out and I do all kinds of things. In the summertime, I help her keep up her lawn and things like that. Now, a lot of people might say, well, why don't you stay with your daughter? How come you're staying in your car? Because I'm an adult. That is why. I'm almost 50. I will be 50 in September. If you don't know, I had a heart attack in 2021. It was a widowmaker heart attack. And two stents put in. It destroyed most of my heart. And I am on disability for that. And I just wanted to live the rest of my life out by my daughter since she is my next of kin. My oldest daughter is my next of kin. She knows what to do when I pass away. And she knows everything, how to take care of everything and not have to pay anything out of pocket, out of her pocket to take care of um, my cremation, which I want to be cremated. And I don't know how much time I have left. I'm thinking maybe three years, maybe less. Um, if I get more, that would be great. If God decides to give me more years, then that would be great. Maybe he'll give me a long life. 
Um, but I do know that my heart is pretty bad right now, and it was destroyed by the heart attack. Um, it's got a lot of scarring, and it's not really pumping enough blood for my organs, so I get tired a lot. Um, I feel sick a lot um, due to my heart condition. And, um, yeah, so I don't live with my daughter. She is married. She's got her own husband. She's got her own life. And I feel she works hard for her money. She works Monday through Friday along with her husband. Her husband also works Monday through Friday. They work from morning until night. And, yes, they do have an extra bedroom in their house. But I'm the kind of person that would rather live by myself. Now, like I said, I did live with my mom, but that was totally different, um, especially the last couple of years I was with my mom. I was basically taking care of her um, because she was fighting stage four lung cancer. And then she lost that battle in 2020, 2022, excuse me, February of 2022, she lost that battle with cancer. Um, and then I decided that I was going to do the car life, van life, SUV life. Whatever I decide to get, that's the life that I'm going to live. I love to be outside in nature. Um, I don't believe in living with someone else. Um, I did start this journey last summer. And if you're not unfamiliar with my channel, I did end up going to a relative's house that I hadn't spoken to in almost two years. Um, and it was okay there, but it was very annoying to live with. There was three other guys that lived there, my brother and his two friends. And it was just very annoying. I couldn't watch what I wanted to watch on my phone because they would have the TV blaring in the kitchen. I mean, the living room, and then the music blaring in, in the kitchen. And I couldn't even watch my own shows on my own phone or do what I wanted to do and have peace and quiet, me and the puppy. And they also had five dogs. So it was hectic there, so I ended up leaving there and coming back to my daughter's house this month because I figured it was going to get warmer out, and it has been warm. It was a little bit cold last night, but it hasn't been too bad. 30 degrees is cool to me, and I like it. I like the cool air. It wasn't bad for me, and it's not bad for the puppy. So, yeah, but anyways, I wanted to give everybody an update. And, yeah, I'm an adult, and I believe that you should take your – you know, take care of your children, and I did that all my life, you know, I paid support for them and stuff like that, and, you know, they're grown, they're on their own, they got their own lives, they got their own business, and I would never want to come in between a husband and a wife, no matter if it was my daughter or not, I love my daughter, she loves me, I do see her um, sometimes before she goes to work and then sometimes she will sit outside with me during the summertime. Um, when it's nice out, she will sit outside on her patio with me and things like that. And that's the kind of relationship that we have. Um, even if I was in a predicament where I could not take care of myself anymore, I would not want my daughter to have to do that or to do that. I would check myself into somewhere, whether it be a nursing home or a care facility to get the care that I needed. I would not want my daughter taking on that responsibility. To some people that might be wrong and to some people it might be right. You know, that's totally up to you. Um, and, you know, everybody's going to have their opinions and, you know, it's, it's, it's okay if you have your own opinions, um, but, you know, that's the way that I am and the way that I feel. I know a lot of people might feel the same way that I do, but if you don't, that's totally okay. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. It's free to do. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button down below. Um, and the like button and the all notification bell and share my video out. I will be doing updated videos. I do do videos of the outside and my puppy Annabelle. I have a lot of short videos of Annabelle here. I have a lot of short pet videos on my shorts feed. So if you go and watch those, you could see Annabelle playing and doing different things on there. 
Um, I also have reselling videos on my YouTube channel. Um, they are from a couple years ago, but they still coincide with today's reselling community. So if you're looking to get into the reselling business, I used to be in the reselling business. I do have videos on my channel about eBay, Facebook, um, USPS. I also have videos on my Facebook or on my YouTube about scams on Facebook and different scams um, to help people out there not get scammed out of their money. And yes, I have a variety of things on my channel, but mainly... Now it is about my car life and what I'm doing and, you know, I will be making a video when I get a SUV or a van and show you the setup. Um, and I will be doing more traveling once I get my van or SUV. I haven't done no traveling and that is because I'm trying to save every dime I can. I only get disability once a month, so I'm trying to save every dime I can to go towards a van or an SUV, and um, once I get that SUV, then I probably will do more traveling. I got an aunt in Pennsylvania that I would like to go see, but I'm just waiting to get a new vehicle. It will probably be another couple months, but I will be doing videos here and, and there um, about different things that I do, and how I cook, and how I clean out the car, and things like that. I've already cleaned out the car today. As you can see here, I cleaned up um, the car very nicely, and I got the doggy bowls set out here for the doggy. She's got water. She's got food. She's a very happy puppy. My daughter's also got a dog that comes out and plays with her, um, and there's other dogs around the neighborhood, too. Sometimes they sneak out on their owners, and they come and play with Annabelle here. But I will be doing more videos. Um, please leave your comments down below. Hit the subscribe button and like button. And I'll see you in my next video.